Dixon, uh, questions for Coach Dixon. Coach, you've had, had some injuries, some guys dinged up. Uh, how have you adjusted to those guys being out? Um, I think guys have just stepped up. You know, it's just the next man up mentality. Um, so guys are going out there and processing the information and just stepping up to the plate. So we're doing a good job. Guys are actually switching positions, playing inside and playing out to help us out as far as the numbers. And if you were out there today watching, you will see that we have a couple of guys from other positions actually out there to help too with some guys dinged up, just helping uh, help get us through practice and position flexibility is what we're all about. So it was good to have a couple of those guys come in and help us run some house today. It seems like Malachi and Adonicus are two guys that have really kind of blossomed uh, over the last couple months Yeah. for you. Can you yeah, talk about them? They really have and it's just a testament to Coach Lou and what they did this summer because they came back in way better shape than they were before, um, a lot stronger. Uh, Malachi is running a lot faster. Adonicus has gotten a lot faster. Um, they understand the techniques that we're teaching on the outside and allowing themselves to get open and make some plays. Brian was a guy that caught everyone's eye in the spring. Has he continued to progress the way you want him to progress? Say that again, Marion. his name? Amarian? Oh yeah, he's progressed. He's come a long way. Uh, he's actually gained about 10 pounds since he's been here, which is really good. I want him to keep eating. Um, but <laughs> he's doing a good job. He's, he now understands his body a lot better. Uh, he can see the defensive structure a lot better, and uh, he's allowing himself to get open and make plays that way. In terms of de developing depth at that inside receiver position, kind of what's that look like for you? And are you just trying different guys right now? Or? So as of right now, Marion and Josh Blancato, you know, those two guys, they understand how to get open in the middle. Those guys have a lot of – they have more coverage adjustment routes than any other position, and uh, those two guys are carrying the torch right now at the inside. Uh, we've moved some outside guys inside to see if those guys can maneuver inside and give us some help that way as well. With Amari Jarrett, he's kind of the a guy that you talk about position flexibility, cross-training mm -hmm. and everything. How have you seen him kind of develop into the role that he is in now? I love OJ because he's one of the most unselfish players that we have. Uh, he started out as a running back, came back to the wide receiver room, which, where, which is where he started at in the spring. And um, he does a really good job of giving max effort every day. He comes up, he asks questions. Um, he knows sometimes when you switch it back and forth like that, you kind of forget certain things and nuances. So he's done a really good job over the last couple of days of coming in and getting better every single day. So I'm excited to see his development, and I just love his leadership, his positive energy, and everything he brings to the offense. Here's with Amari, and um, he stepped in, it seemed like, like we were saying, and was producing and getting a lot of practice time. What is it about him that kind of enabled him to, to jump in so quickly? Uh, Amarian, for a freshman, is very smart. Um, you make one adjustment in the meeting, and he can take it out to the field and execute it. Um, he has an uncanny ability to get open on the second level. Uh, he knows how to use his speed. He knows how to decelerate and accelerate uh, whenever he has to, which makes him a huge weapon on the inside. And I just want to see his game continue to develop. I want him to get stronger so that he can body some people as well. But as far as right now, he's doing a great job of adjusting to the college game. Jair's another guy that's kind of flipped back and forth. He was playing a lot of corner and then came back after he had some injuries and mm -hmm. has made some nice plays at receiver. Kind of what are you seeing from him? So he understands the playbook a lot better. So he's playing a lot faster. Uh, Jair is one of the fastest guys on the team. And whenever you know what you're doing, you can play a lot faster because you're not thinking. And that's one of the things that's helped him since he's come back. Uh, it's like he never left. He understands what he's doing. Uh, we got to clean up some of his technique as far as on releases. Um, but other than that, the fact that he knows what to do and where he has to be, he's playing a lot faster and he's giving himself the ability to make plays. Have you seen the, the chemistry develop between your group and the quarterbacks? Uh, yeah, they worked all summer. Uh, voluntarily, they would go out and throw uh, three times a week. And you can see that chemistry start to take hold right now. Um, Sometimes on the outside, I mean, they're doing a immaculate job as far as on deep balls. Um, our intermediate game has picked up over the last couple of weeks. So just that time that they spent in the off season is starting to show up on film. We're uh, way ahead of where we were in the spring.
Josh Bancato is on the front. is a walk on easy to overlook, but I mean, can you foresee him getting into meaningful play time? Yes, Josh Bancato is one of the hardest workers on the team. Um, you can see that in workouts during the summer. You see that every day you go out to practice. You know, they wear those catapults, and his numbers are out the, out the door. You know, um, he just he cares. He's a very smart young man, um, great teammate. Uh, he also has some great leadership qualities as well, and uh, you can just see he cares, and he does a good job of getting open and making some plays on the ball too. So he'll be a guy that can definitely help us this year. What are the new freshmen, the three guys you had? Came out, came in in uh, camp. Where do they have to to improve to maybe be guys who are above the line, down the line for you? Uh, Zach Owens, Nazir Burnett, and Kalani Norris. Yeah. Those three. Yep. Yeah. Uh, those guys have to continue to dive into the playbook. College game is totally different than uh, high school football. You know, you have to spend a lot of time with. It. You have to understand what you're doing before you can do anything. Uh, it's just like I talked about with Jair earlier. The fact that he has knowledge. He knows what he's doing out there so he can play a lot faster. I just see those guys thinking a lot. But when they have a chance and we do some one-on-one -on -one stuff, all three of those guys have ability. And um, as they continue to grow, they'll be able to help us this year. What's Jalen's role kind of right now? Jalen is more of our leader. Um, he's doing a really good job of just being the leader, helping the young guys out. Um, he's unbelievable in the room. Uh, some people think he has a quiet personality, but he's a very funny individual. <laughs> yes, Jalen, you are funny. All right. And um, so his leadership qualities have really helped. You know, just the guy to be there, that's another voice for us to have in the room. It's been awesome. So we asked Nathan this yesterday about just the above the line and how you handle that. And I'm curious, do you know already how you'll rotate and, and get guys in, you know, the, the ones that are that – are it's starting to sort itself out, but we haven't gotten there yet. You know, after this next scrimmage this weekend, uh, we'll see which guys step up because this practice is one thing when you get a chance to go in live competition. Sometimes guys just show up when the lights come on. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we have an idea of guys who are working above the line, but, you know, I'm just hoping some guys show up and uh, do some things in the scrimmage and bring some depth to the group or maybe even break out. So that'd be awesome to see. Do you have, do you have a philosophy in terms of how you rotate guys? Is it series by series? Is it if it's a sustained drive, you're trying to keep legs fresh? Is it play to play? Like, do you have a philosophy about how you want to do that? So I like to do it by series, but I also take a look at the guys and see how much they've exerted themselves on plays. I try to get the guys to push their full threshold on every play, um, and if they do that, and the guy behind them can come in and. There's no drop off. So I just want them to exert themselves on every single play. And I can kind of look and have a feel of when I need to insert guys into the game. But I've always done it by series uh, in my past. And um, it's worked out for me. But the biggest thing is just to get those guys to exert themselves on every single play, just give max effort. And then there's going to be a guy on the sideline that can come in and spill you. Cool. What kind of player can Malachi be over time, you know, the next few years he has with you? you know, I've been around a lot of really good receivers, and uh, Malachi's development has been un unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, he could be really special. He has really good speed. He has great length. Um, his catch radius is off the charts. He's still learning the game, which is a good thing, you know, for a young player going into his sophomore year. You know, the more he understands leverage, the more he understands cover structure, he can see what's going on before the ball is snapped, and the sky's the limit for the kid. But he has to continue to work, stay humble, and just work hard all the time. A couple more for Coach Dixon. P.J. Harris, guy we haven't talked about yet. He hasn't maybe had the amount of targets up to this point now. Mm -hmm. Kind of where is his development at? So P.J. is uh, one of those guys that has been a breakout player for us. Um, you know, he has done some things, especially in the intermediate passing game. Uh, he has taken the coaching and allowed himself to play at a very high level right now. Um, he just has to continue to work, continue to be consistent on a daily basis and not get inconsistent and start doing things that he's not coached to do. The sky's the limit for him when he does what he's coached to do. If he goes out there all willy-nilly, then it's not going to work out for him. But his development has been great. Uh, he's doing a great job of using his size. He understands his speed. So he's a guy that I use as an example in the room all the time uh, during film study. Anything else?